Yep. Coffee and whiskey. What could possibly go wrong? Well, hopefully not this review of the Johnny Walker Blender's Batch Espresso Roast coming at your face in just a few minutes. Yes, coffee and whiskey, two of my great loves. Well, that's if you don't count some of the uh, more comely looking athletes in the women's tennis circuit. Or that girl I bumped into the gym today with the uh, skin-coloured lycra short tights with the ruching on the back. I, you know. So let's get one thing out of the way uh, quick smart. This is not a liqueur. No coffee has actually been introduced into this delicious blend uh, from the uh, from the brothers Johnny Walker. Actually, I don't know if there are any Walker brothers. There, there must be. I'm sure Johnny Walker at some point had a brother. So, how is the espresso uh, nose and taste achieved if they're not adding any coffee uh into the mixture. Well, apparently this is done uh, by specially roasting the barley prior to distillation. So this expression is part of a, uh, a new series of expressions that the uh, Johnny Walker Distillery is pumping out there. Um, the Blender's Batch Editions, I believe. According to the grapevine, these are all going to be limited releases, so uh, if you are a collector, you might want to nab one. If you are not a collector, you might just want to nab one and then drink it. Guess which one I'm going to do. The other expressions currently out on the market of the Blender's Batch is a rum cask finish. And uh, have a squiz at some of Soleg's uh, reviews to see what he has to say about rum finishes. I haven't had all that many. I think I've had the uh, the rum finish with the tealing, um, which is their small batch one. But I've not really had too many rum finish offerings. So, for me, it will be interesting to see just how much it does taste like espresso. Or, or even just coffee. I'll settle for coffee. Is there a difference? It's, uh, some kind of coffee nerd is probably wringing their hair. We shall see. Now, I can't turn around and have a look at the bottle and see what we're dealing with because there was a little um, stickery thing that was stuck to the bottle and it had the advertising spin on it and I lost it uh, at some point when I was foiling a terrorist plot. I shall read from the Johnny Walker website. The end result is Johnny Walker Blender's Batch Espresso Roast, a rich scotch blend with a deep warmth and confidently punchy notes of rich coffee and dark chocolate that works brilliantly served neat in an espresso cup. Yeah, nah. Nah, I won't be drinking this in no espresso cup because i got class. Well, let's give this a go. It's kind of alternating between a dry white wine and a... Kind of very light porty smell. Porty. Any porty in a stormy. So, the whiskey details. We are, of course, dealing with a blend, a scotch blend. Uh, so there will be a combination of single malts and grain whiskies in here. They've bumped up the ABV for this offering. It's 43.2% ABV. So a little bit of an uptick from your standard 40%. When it's matured, it's matured in a combination of first fill bourbon casks, but also some rejuvenated casks. Now, what's a rejuvenated cask? How do you give a cask a facelift? Well, essentially what you do is you mill the inside of the cask, uh, rechar it, and then you use it again. And that's all they mean by a rejuvenated cask. I think I could I could be rejuvenated myself, um, but I don't want to be milled from the inside and then charred. Let's give it a nose. So it's, it's very sweet. There's a... Um, I will say there is a kind of es espresso-y smell. Some dark chocolate. There is some peat smoke. So yeah, yeah, your very traditional Johnny Walker peat smoke. Yes, it's quite nice. It is quite nice nose. 
don't go into this thinking you're gonna it's gonna smell exactly like when you go to your your local cafe. I mean that's not gonna happen. Um, but you know there is that kind. Of, it, it, it evokes. There is the evocation of a bit of coffee smell. Okay, so I get a big wave of peat smoke, but then that kind of gets pushed aside, and there's a bit of vanilla, some dark chocolate. That is a bit on the bitter side, but it's the bitterness of dark chocolate, not the bitterness of cheap grain whiskey. On the second taste, it's um, very, very malty. I assume that is also a, a result of the, the roasting of the barley uh, beforehand. There's a little bit of, of a very, very mild spice, spicy notes, but not too much. So I would call this a medium long finish and what's it's really that's where you're kind of getting that kind of coffee-ish taste that's uh, dragging it across the finish line as it were. It's okay. It's um, all I would say is don't purchase this with the idea that it's going to taste like coffee. It's going to taste like whiskey. That kind of reminds you of coffee, and I think that's a very important distinction. Yeah, I could, I could see this being used in some kind of cocktail where you're trying to create that coffee taste. Um, but it's also quite nice to sip it on its own. Well, ah, there you have it. The Johnny Walker Blender's Edition Espresso Roast. Not to be confused with the Espresso Roach, which is a particular type of cockroach that is known for hanging around cafes and coffee shops. Yeah, it's not bad. As I say, it's it's prop actually I actually think it's kind of got more potential as an element in a cocktail where the uh, the intended effect is to uh, mimic a coffee. But drinking it on its own it is fine. It is okay. Yeah, it will remind you of coffee. It won't taste like coffee. It'll remind you of coffee. Geez, can I? Uh, we've. I think I made the point. Well, I hope you have enjoyed that review. I certainly did. As a fan of both whiskey, coffee, girls at the gym, girls at tennis. Well, if you have enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing. That enables the channel and myself to grow, uh, metaphorically. And I look forward to sampling another whiskey for all you salty dogs very, very soon.